Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of the Never Do Through the Wii What You Can Do Through the CLI Channel. I am Vangelis and today you are watching Rust is Taking the Programming World by Storm. I want to talk a little bit about uh, this uh, subject. I want, to, I want to share some latest news regarding Rust, but I want to focus especially in a specific item, a specific blog post that uh, I read and I think is quite um, extraordinary. So let me start and uh, let's start by referring to the latest news. I suppose most of you must know by now that uh, uh, Linus uh, has given his green light for uh, Rust merge, for the Rust merge in the Linux kernel. It will be done in Linux 6.1. So this is something that we have been uh, waiting for uh, quite some time now. And it is uh, happening uh, indeed. And I suppose everybody that loves uh, uh, memory safety and efficiency uh, is excited about this uh, news. This is uh, one of the latest stories that uh, were made known. Um, I would say that today there is some piece of information that uh, corroborates the success of Rust, uh, as I said, almost on a daily basis. Uh, a recent, another recent story that uh, made some impact was from uh, the Microsoft Azure CTO. Uh, this guy, my, Mark Razinovich, I suppose, hopefully I pronounce his name correctly, who in essence says that uh, C and C++ should be uh, declared deprecated, as you can see in his um, tweet. Uh, I don't know, of course, if this opinion uh, is is aligned with uh, what Microsoft thinks about the languages about C++ and C or about Rust. But it seems that uh, Microsoft is also moving towards Rust. They are very active in the Rust uh, ecosystem and they use Rust in their services. <coughs> As Google is pushing very hard for Rust, we know uh, it is being used in the Android code base, etc. But the piece of information that I would like to press a little bit more on is this uh, Cloudflare blog post, which is talking about Pingora, the proxy that connects Cloudflare to the Internet. So the essence of this article is that uh, Cloudflare decided to write their own proxy uh, in Rust. And this is because they were, they were using Nginx and we know that Nginx is a quite good piece of software with a lot of capabilities and uh, throughput, etc. But it seems that uh, the Cloudflare scale, as you can see, as Cloudflare has scaled, we've outgrown Nginx. So it seems that they had some uh, problems with uh, Nginx, not so much performance problems, but uh, as it says here, architecture limitations uh, problems, but these problems also impacted the performance of uh, their applications. And one of the problems was uh, the, th the, as you see, the architecture that Nginx uh, used did not allow them to reuse connections. So they had to go through connections and TLS, uh, handshakes, etc., uh, multiple times, as you can see here. Uh, so this, among some other uh, reasons, uh, led them to write their own proxy in Rust and they, they result, let me find it, here. 
This is the result with their Rust proxy implementation. Pingora makes only a third as many new connections per second compared to the old service. For one major customer, it increased the connection reuse rate from 87.1 to 99.92, which reduced new connections to their origins by 160x. To present the number more intuitively by switching to Pingora, we save our customers and users 434 years of handshake every time, every day. Can you imagine <coughs> the performance boost of this Rust implementation? 434 years of handshake time every day. This is what they shaved off and this of course translates to speed, efficiency and uh, cost effectiveness. They also have the, the ability to add more features uh, into their own proxy uh, because uh, Rust uh, allows you to, you know, to easily refactor or add functionality due to the very strict uh, type system. But another thing that uh, I want to focus on is this safer paragraph, um, heading, let's say, not paragraph, sorry. They say that uh, their uh, proxy implementation did not uh, crash at all. Mm. In fact, Pingora crashes are so rare, we usually find unrelated issues when we do encounter one, one crash. Recently, we discovered a kernel bug soon after our service starting crashing. We've also discovered hardware issues on few machines in the past, ruling out rare memory bugs caused by our software even after significant debugging was nearly impossible. So as you can see, not only the Rust implementation did not crash, but when it crashed, this was due to other software or hardware problems. They discovered a kernel bug because the process was crashing and this was due to a kernel bug. <laughs> Just imagine that. <clears throat> this is extraordinary. This is surprising. This is, uh, I don't have the right work uh, right now. Etc. Etc. Et and to summarize, we have built an in-house proxy that is faster, more efficient and versatile as a platform for our current and future products. Uh, so, yeah, this piece of uh, this blog post uh, caught my attention and uh, I find it uh, very nice regarding Rust, uh, very exciting news about the potential of Rust and how Rust is indeed uh, taking over the programming world because we see times and again on a daily basis new uh, stories about switching to Rust. Uh, for, exa for example, another uh, story was Postgres ML, which is switching to Rust too, etc. And everybody is moving to Rust because of the benefits that uh, Rust provides. So it is a good time to jump on the Rust bandwagon and uh, we should all do I believe it is our responsibility, I would say. Uh, I would not, uh, you know, stay on the level of preference. I prefer this language to this language, but I would go a step further and say that it is our duty as uh, programmers to push for better tools. And Rust is a better tool because it gives us the ability to write more robust uh programs and this leads to uh, less bugs and more efficiency and I have described in other videos uh, why efficiency is important or why not having bugs is important. We know that millions of dollars uh, are spent over uh, compensating uh, the effects of bugs. And this is not a feasible way to go forward.
So yeah, this is uh, the video. I hope you like it and uh, I hope you <coughs> look into Rust if you haven't already. Uh, till next time, have a great day.